All right, watch this. I'm gonna need a few props to show you this $100 trick right here. Look, inside this bag, it's the most basic props you can use in magic. You show it empty like this, and watch this. I take a little magic stick. If I give a little wave, here, produce a magical blue card. Really simple for now. We need it for that $100 bill trick. Now look, the next prop we need, we need a magic stick. Looks like a drumstick. You can feel it, it's, it's a real stick right there. It's not a drumstick here, there you go. You can tap it on the ground too, make sure it's solid. Solid stick, right? But you know it's a magic stick and not a drumstick because you can take it and when you want, you, you make it vanish like that. It always comes back though. It's actually right there, coming down, right there. We're gonna use this in a second, okay? Now look, the next pop. You guys come in this way, we're about to get started. Come in this way, come in this way. Folks, come in this way, you, you came right on time, we're about to get started. The next pop for this $100 bill trick right here. My son, he made me these custom cards. These cards inspired everything to do this. By a show of hands, how many of you guys have seen the movie The Matrix? By a show of hands. What movie most of you guys have seen? Okay, watch this. You guys asked for the biggest trick, the hundred dollar bill trick, so watch this. Everyone get ready. You all who found my show today, we're gonna take a once in a lifetime trip into the matrix. Just like the movie, I'm gonna show you how deep the rabbit hole really goes. Help me out, grab that end right there. We're gonna inspect the rope. Give it a pull, make sure it's solid. Doesn't stretch, doesn't come apart, right? Solid rope, solid rope, right? Yeah, yeah, tell you. We wanna make sure it's solid. Solid rope, right? All right, you gonna let go. You can let go. Here's where we get serious now, okay? As I prep this rope for our journey into the matrix, I want to ask you all one simple question. What is real? What is an illusion? You all are getting a live show today. There's no camera tricks, right in front of your eyes. I tie this knot right here. I'm gonna measure it up so we can cut it into two pieces. And to cut this rope, I have these magic scissors. They cut anything. It's really sharp. Where I put it? Right over here. Now, some of you don't believe, that's why I asked you, what is real, what is an illusion? I'm gonna take some off the top, okay? When I start to do things like this, you start to question reality. Okay, that's a little bit off, I'll take a little bit more. Right there, here. Now, after that cutting, when I untie this, you can clearly see we have two pieces of rope. Now, some of you here might be a little too drunk and see more than two pieces. So here, just to make sure, we have two pieces, there's four ends, let's confirm. There's one, there's two, there's three. There's four, right? But if you all stare closely at the four ends dangling in front of you, right there. If you look long and hard enough, you'll see. We really didn't cut that rope yet. So, I wanna ask you all again, what is real? How do you define real? They say real is what you see, what you feel, what you hear. Real is simply electrical signals interpreted by the brain, right? Folks, before I move on, I gotta follow the rules on Fremont. If my crowd starts to block this walkway right here in the middle, if security walks by, they might shut down the show. If you guys are watching, can you all just come in a little bit closer if you're watching? Just a little bit closer over here. Folks, can you all just come in a little bit closer here? You guys are my VIPs to the show. Can we fill in this gap right here? It looks like someone farted. Just a little bit closer, guys, a little bit closer. A little bit closer. I'm not gonna pickpocket you, I promise. We're just doing magic. All right, my friend right here, you do the honors, okay? Take the scissors right here. Real scissors, right? We got a skeptic over here. Real scissors. So we know they're sharp. You cut it at the top of the loop. Sharp scissors. Are you sure you cut the rope? So you sort of question yourself now. I'll take that back. All right, look. You guys can hear, you can see. We're really cutting that rope right there. Now look, I'm gonna do this one more time and I show you the impossible without 100. Can you help me out with this one? You just have to hold something right here. Can my man right here with the camera, you help me out too? You grab this one right here. Raise the rope up high. Hold it up, hold it up. Don't let go, okay? Even if I use the magic scissors, if you believe they cut anything. They're really sharp, look. Now after all that cutting, don't let go, don't let go. Watch this. Don't let go. Did we really cut that rope yet? <laughs> All right, folks, here we go. We're about to go into the matrix now. So here it is. What is your name again? Drake. Drake. How do you spell that? D-R-A. Oh, Drake. 
He's out there, I'm so loud. Derek, I'll take 100 for a second. All right, in my hand right now, there's the only 100 like this in the world. One of one, super rare. Folks, I hate to keep doing this. I really have to follow the rules on Fremont. If my crowd drops this kiosk here, security walks by, they're gonna shut down the show. I already got warned twice today. Can you guys come in a little bit closer if you're watching? A little bit closer over here. Can you guys take a few steps in here? A few more steps in, guys, if you're watching. Intelligent people, can we move this way and fill the gap so the stupid people know what to do? A little bit closer, guys, a little bit closer. Thank you, guys. It's not that hard. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, folks. Everyone take a mental note of Drake's initials right there. The positioning, the penmanship. I want you all to know for sure, without a doubt, these are, this is the same hunter in action. There's no doubles. There's no duplicates. All right. Can you help me out with this last piece? Can you join me right over here? And what is your name? Kyle, right over here, Kyle. From Indiana, right? Yes, sir. Everyone watch Kyle's 100 right here. When you get back home from your vacation, you're going to tell your friends and family who saw you in Fremont. You're going to say this magician to the $100 bill, surrounded with no sleeves. He gave it a few folds, and when he opened it up, that 100 instantly and magically turned into 200 bucks. Okay, if I could really do that, I wouldn't be here right now. Don't get too excited, guys. Kyle, hold it right there for a second. Everyone watch Kyle's 100, make sure nothing funny happens, okay? Here's where our props come back so we can do this miracle. Now we need the magic stick, Kyle. Oh, but first here, I almost forgot. Let's do something amazing with the magical blue glove. Folks, take a look. No holes, no magnets, nothing in the threads. Kyle, feel all around, you confirm, check it. Check the other side, feel it. Make sure there's nothing in there. Everything's legit, right? Let's take the magical blue glove. I make a little space in the middle. Kyle, if you could fairly hand me the hundred. Hundred, slowly goes in the claw. Go watch from that side. That side, the middle, all around. Now Kyle, here's where we unleash the full power of the magic stick from earlier. In the wrong hands, this is dangerous. But I like your energy, Kyle. I want you to do the magic for us today. There's a lot of eyes here. You can't get this wrong. I believe in you. You just have to believe in yourself. Now, real simple, a little toy like this, and the top right on the top. Please, you do the magic today, Kyle. Hey, you've done this before. <laughs> that was good, Kyle, look. That was a triple tap. Kyle, look, you did it. It's halfway. The stick is going away. Up high, surrounded. Look what you did, Kyle. And it's gone. <laughs> I know. I know, I know. And Kyle, look, no one is clapping. When you make something vanish, it's not enough to get a round of applause. We have to bring it back. So here we go, everyone. It's time to bring Kyle's money back. It's time to go into the Matrix. So here's the cards my son made one more time. Just like the most iconic scene in the movie with the red pill and the blue pill. You guys remember that, right? Today, audience, it's your choice how we end your show today. So we're going to have a vote. And Kyle, you be the judge, okay? Make some noise. If you want to use the red cards. Make some noise. If you want to use the blue cards. Sounds like blue, right? All right, you guys chose the blue today. So Kyle, it's your turn to pick the card, okay? First, let me show you guys why this is my favorite. Why it's special to the show. Fully custom with my son. You guys see that right there? Pizza. What else we have? Egg. Tomato. All different colors, all familiar foods, everything you guys know. Right there, all around. All right, Kyle, this is the moment of truth. Just one step back over here so my friends on the side can see. Kyle, whatever card you pick for us today, that's what we use for the finale. We're not going to change it. This moment changes everything. This is the one you're going to be thinking about all day long. No pressure, okay, Kyle, for our audience? Please, just touch one card. Just touch one. You guys saw that, right? That one right there, Kyle. Hold your hand out flat for me. I'm going to drop it right there. Don't look at it just yet, okay? Hold it right there, hold it right there. All right, guys, look. Before I give you the finale, I want to take a brief moment just to introduce myself. Again, my name is Mark. I'm from California. This actor watching, I've been doing it for a long time. It's taking me all around the world. And just recently, just recently, it brought me on America's Got Talent. But no, 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 you don't have to clap for that. You don't have to clap because I was just sitting in the audience. It was a great show, though. 
folks on the street here on Fremont. Everyone here is welcome to watch my show. Doesn't matter where you're from or how much money you have. Come out here, I give you all nothing short of my best. At the end of your show here today, I'm gonna stand up here with this hat. At the end, if you have money, I want some of it. You all know how this goes. Guys, I'm not being paid to come out here and entertain you. It's because of all of you, everyone before you. Your donations keep my show running. If you don't have any money, if you don't have to go walking off like some people did back there. Folks, if you don't have any money, the show is on me, okay? Please stay and watch till the end. Like I said, everyone here is welcome to watch. All right, now that the people with no money just walked off and stiffed me, with those cheap bastards. <laughs> you all here with money. You put a 10 in my hat, I go home, feel like a star. You put a 20 in my hat, I go home, feel like a superstar. You put a 100 in my hat, I go home with you. <laughs> Guys, look, all jokes aside, you know exactly what you're getting today. A great donation for a street show is five bucks. That's a fraction of any show ticket. I think my finale is worthy of a hundred. And you're my favorite so far, Kyle. All right, here we go. Guys, you picked the blue deck, you chose the card. I'm gonna get everything ready. Kyle, for the first time, can you read out loud? What are we using for the grand finale today, Kyle? Please, read it out loud. Turn it over, please, read it out loud. That's a good one. I'll take that back. You picked a good one today, Kyle. Everyone get ready. Out of all the things I showed you, with the coins, the cards you guys picked from earlier, the rope, we're about to blur the lines between what is real, what is an illusion. So here we go. All the props start coming back. Can you help me out with this last station right now? You just have to hold something for me. You just have to hold something. Can you hold your drink for you real quick? Kyle, one step to your left, right over here. One step to your left. Just right over here. You just have to hold something. Right over here. This is very important, okay? Teamwork, high five. All right, all the prompts come back. You can get this magic bag, any magic shop in the world. It's all on how you use it. Can you grab the handle here with two hands? Very simple, keep that still. Don't move, okay? All right, guys. This is the last part of the show. Let's finish the show strong like a team, like a family, okay? Let's bring the energy back. I want to hear everyone in this part. You guys have been a great crowd, but you've been a quiet crowd. So I want to hear everyone. Y'all enjoying the show so far? Say yeah. yeah. There you guys are. Y'all ready to go into the matrix? Say oh yeah. Oh yeah. You all gonna put a 20 in my hat? Say hell yeah. You guys are a tough crowd. Folks, look, I forgot to mention, I know some of you here don't have any cash. If that's you, I have you covered, don't worry. Here, I also take Visa, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Pay, Google Pay, Cash App. Just scan the code, it's that easy. All right, everyone, here we go. A little bit of music to have some theatri theatrics and production value to your finale. And Kyle, we're going in. DJ Siri, take us home. You ready? Everyone ready? Here we go. You all will never see this again. Ladies and gentlemen, look around today. The magic is everywhere. It's all around us. You all find it right to the show. You guys made it this far. Now we can only show you the door. Everyone has to walk through. Pal, you picked the lemon. I want you to imagine up this lemon in my hand. We're going to bring it to life. I'm going to set it right here. I want you to imagine it's floating and forming right in front of you. Some of you see it, some of you don't. So I'm going to use this magical blue cloth one last time. And if you believe, you'll see it floating right here. Get ready, we're going in. This is the council. We're not there yet, Kyle. We're not there yet. It's our loading. Is there a remnant in there? This side, take a look. Is it in there? Oh, you can see it in. Right in the middle, it's back. Don't move. Don't move, okay? We're gonna catch it right here. This is our last chance. What is real? How do you define real? You felt that, right? I know you all saw that too. You guys remember it, I said we're gonna make something float in the air, no strings attached. We're not sure what it is here that's covered up, but we're looking for one thing in that bag, your lemon. Take it back. With magic, if you believe, if you use your imagination, I'll show you. 
Anything is possible. Now, you're probably wondering what the purpose of this lemon is here today. And Kyle, you probably don't care about the lemon. You want to know your hundreds of No one blink. Now, ladies and gentlemen, every great magic trick consists of three parts or three acts. The third act, the last part of the show here today, watch right there, because that's the part of the show we like to call the Christine. No smoke, no bubbles, no camera tricks. Brought to fruition by your imagination live right here on Primo. There's one more thing to do. I'm going to pull this bill out. I want you all to look for Kyle's initials. And when you see it, I want you all to make some noise, because inside that lemon, we have some pulled out. A sticky, juicy, hold it up. One hundred thousand. Yeah. Hey guys, it's my pleasure to entertain you on your vacation today. You guys have been a beautiful audience. I gave you all my heart. Here's my hat. If you have something to give, I'll be right up here. Thanks for watching, guys. Kyle, thank you. Oh man, Kyle, thank you so much, man. That means a lot. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys, man. You just made my day. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys, very much. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't be shy. Can we come back?